going on my beautiful rebellion it is your tiny rebellion sleeper eye cloud rebel and welcome back to another not live stream of a game this is the second game that we're doing this i think this might be a regular thing honestly for any like big games that we're playing but in case you can't tell by the special guest we have over next to arrow and ace on the bed that will be sticking with us throughout the entire gameplay we're playing tears of the kingdom this is episode Two. Now, um, I live streamed episode one, and that will come out soon as of recording this. It still hasn't come out just yet because I'm trying to find the right day to regularly upload episodes of Tears of the Kingdom weekly just to have a consistent schedule. So I'm still planning that <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> Obviously, by the time this episode comes out, that will have been established. <laughs> and good news. I got a new capture card. Yeah. I had to pay a little bit more than what I did for the first capture card that I got. But honestly, it is working a lot better than the first one. Because so far, I've tested it a little bit. It's not doing that little uh, line of distortion down the screen and glitching out a little bit and stuff. So far, hopefully, it doesn't do that at all. <laughs> but I, I had a fellow mutual recommend it to me that's been... Uh, doing gameplay a little bit longer, so I trust their opinion a lot. So thank you, Pandalorium, for that. Thanks. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna get mad. <laughs> yeah, I kind of wish that I could just go back and re-record the first episode. Just because it'll be weird to have the first episode have really shitty image quality, and then the rest of the episodes will probably be very good. But it's too late, it's been live streamed, everybody knows, so I can't go back. I'm gonna try not to beat myself up a lot about this, but let's, let's continue. I'm very excited to continue this game. Let's go! We're off on another Hyrule adventure. Wee! Oh, I was about to use my paraglider. I feel stupid. I didn't mean to do that. I'm just, I'm used to having a lot of good weapons, a lot of food, a lot of good gear, and my paraglider. Why, why do we not have the paraglider? Why? Why do we not have the paraglider? Did that get burned up or something? Along with our clothes? Like... Okay, whatever. It's not like I'm upset or anything. Oh, it, look, it's a typhoon. Oh, that's really... <sighs> that's re... That, that reminds me of, um... That, that... Uh, of Castle in the Sky. Like, that typhoon in the sky that... <sighs> I'm probably gonna be talking about it a lot in this game. Um, just mainly this, because it literally looks like... Almost picture perfect to the cloud barrier around the city of Laputa. Um, cause in the, um, in the, in the movie, there, there's a cloud, there's like swirling clouds around Laputa as kind of a defense barrier, and this looks like it. That's crazy. That's so cool. Wow. It's a neat thing. Neat. Also, it's been really hard for me not to like just pick up my switch and just continuously like play the game until 4 a.m because i think that's the downside of being a content creator who records themselves playing games is that you don't just get to stay up till 4 a.m recording yourself playing games you know you gotta like find a right time and stuff like that unless if you live with people that don't care that you're a content creator and don't mind you playing until 4am or you have like a soundproof room or something I don't have that luxury so I have to I have to you know find times to record and stuff so I have to graciously and greatly pace myself <laughs> I've also been trying really hard to avoid anything tears of the kingdom related online because I don't want to spoil anything you know I want to I want you guys to get my genuine reaction to everything. I have seen some of the people's really crazy builds though, like, why did they give us that option? <laughs> did they not think about what we were going to do <laughs> with the power that we're given? Like, <laughs> oh god, this is really pretty. 
God damn, this is so beautiful. Honestly, I, I love it so much. This is gorgeous. This is this is insane. Oh wait, I just realized on the on the mini map, which <sighs> apparently has not any official map loaded. <laughs> I'm gonna have to probably do the towers thing again or something similar. Um, there's like coordinates or like Yeah, there's like coordinates. That's so cool. I love that. That's I didn't know. I don't think that was there in Breath of the Wild. That's so cool. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, what's up, guys? Even Pura stepped oh. over. It's hard to believe these runes just fell from the sky. I mean, they're from the Age of Legends, and now they're here. It's also strange, huh? Oh. Yeah, it sure is, but it's also a great opportunity. All of us on the Zonai survey team should count ourselves lucky. If it weren't for the upheaval, the upheaval, this never would have happened. Not that anyone knows what the upheaval even is. Mm. Well, Purr is looking into it. She's holed up in her research lab inside the fort trying to make sense of things. She figures if she better understands the upheaval, she'll find some sort of lead on the princess. But so far, nothing. Uh. Is the princess alright, wherever she is? These ruins right here are exceptional. But really, who cares about that at a time like this? Yeah, my question, I was, I was actually thinking about this recently, was... Where was all of this in Breath of the Wild? Obviously, these ruins were up in the sky, but they weren't in our field of vision as they are now. But they have existed for quite a while, so my guess is in-game continuity, probably at a higher altitude. I don't know, maybe the game will explain a reason why you couldn't see any of this in Breath of the Wild. Because now, obviously, you you freaking can. Look, there's a huge box and the, there's a huge cube in the sky. Look out landing. Cool. Pray. Pose. Interesting. Ooh. Ooh. Purpad manual. Read the purpad instruction manual about the map. If you scan the surrounding air, surrounding terrain using a sky view tower, you can register the map. Additionally, you can travel instantly to the location of Skyview Tower that you've already registered by selecting it. This handy instant travel to a registered location feature has been dubbed Travel by its clever inventor, Puro. Um, what about pictures? Open up the camera and point the Puro pad at your desired target. If so, do so, and you can save the targeted scenery or form in your album as a picture. Additionally, the Puro pad can provide data on Hyrule's ecosystem. This subject reflected in a picture will automatically be identified, giving you the thrill of filling out your compendium. Oh. I haven't even finished filling out my compendium in Breath of the Wild. I think I'm going to do it here. About the adventure log. A record of information gained during your travels and things you should forget, which can be pursued at any time. This information is organized into categories, so you'll have to select a category first. Okay. Those footsteps! <gasps> it's Robbie! Ah! Ah, what a pleasant evening. Oh. Hey, hey, you! Where have you been? Yeah, it's Robbie. I love Robbie. <sighs> Don't answer that. Tell me later. For now, you should hurry and go talk to Pura. What is this voice? Oh, God. She's been in a tizzy ever since you and the princess disappeared. She's in the building with the telescope up on the second floor. Go and see her and give us a peace of mind, will ya? I don't know what that voice was, but hey, it's Robbie! I'm so happy. I wonder what that apart what English, I wonder what that was a part of. There we go. Oh, hello. What? That hair! Those eyes! The the Doc! Dr. Pearl! The swordsman! The swordsman has returned! <gasps> Wait, Pearl! Oh my god! Last time we saw her, she was knee high to a grasshopper! <sighs> oh my god, she's gotten tall! <sighs> okay. Oh. Now, where have you been? Out and about. Linky, been... you're not a ghost, are you? Oh, with the nickname? Still? Okay, okay. Hey. That looks interesting. Yeah, I almost died for this. Or, I... Yeah. Haha. <laughs> Phew. One step at a time. 
Is that a recorder? Were you playing an instrument? Oh! Oh! Ooh. Hey, yo! Oh. <laughs> okay. So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, yes. You discover a mysterious mummy. Mm-hmm. Which suddenly reanimates. Yes, very bad. Then Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. But I don't think she's dead. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Yes. Then later you wake up on a sky island. Saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. Uh huh, uh huh, yeah. You get the Pura pad from an unusual creature. Mm hmm. And learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Rob. Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, you're, you're getting it all right. The sword disappears. Yeah, it broke. An ancient relic you is gone. hear the princess's gone. voice and find your way here. Yeah, once again, we're back to talking through the mind. Yep, me and Zelda have that telepathy thing going. Huh. huh? Then... What? Are you saying that you came up from there? This Raru you met. I think that's what the first king of... Yeah, isn't that right? Isn't Raru... Or something like that, technically the first Zelda's dad. Right? Hmm. Are they one and the same? I think so. So much of this doesn't make sense yet. But I'm certain that mummy you found under the castle must have been related to the upheaval. Is the upheaval hmm. like that? Yeah, okay. That's what's the up that that's what the upheaval's called. Okay. The castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky, the mummy must be connected to it somehow. Ah. And then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak to- Yes. This has happened before in Breath of the Wild. This was a consistent thing. I don't know why you're double checking. And she gave you a clear message to find her? If that truly was the princess, then that means she's alive. Uh, I thought that already. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link. But I need you to meet with the search party up at Hi by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. The captain in charge of the search is named Hawes. Work with him to find the princess as quickly as you yes. can. I know that mummy may still be lurking somewhere around here. Which is concerning to say the least, but we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Linky. Well, I feel like the mummy's the main source of problems. Ergo, we should deal with that. Oh, that's so cool. Pura, head of look at look at the difference. Uh, that's so cool. The highest authority on ancient technology. She has served. For Served Princess Zelda's family for much of her life and has worked with the princess to research the Zonai civilization. Most recently, they started an investigation into the outbreak of gloom. She has used herself as a test subject in her experiments despite being over a century in age. She reversed her aging to the, to the extreme and actually looked like a child not too long ago. Damn. Yeah, that happened. It was impressive. Crisis at Hyrule Castle. Can I find one of these, like, sky towers? That'd be cool. Can I take any of these? <gasps> Wait a minute! What do you think you're doing? Oh. Joshua needs that for her chasm research! Don't touch any of it without her permission! I'll get in big trouble if you do. Okay, so it's not mine. Alright. Damn it. But I want it. I want it. You're asking me to go practically to the source of that thing. With barely anything. Okay. Alrighty then, I guess we gotta. Oh, but a shrine. 
guess we'll also do that too. I need to figure out where these so-called sky... That's probably one, two. I think I'm seeing some of the sky towers. I can't believe we got to do all that over again. Sucks. Ooh, what this? Is that a silent princess? Silent princess. This lovely flower was said to have been a favorite of the princess of Hyrule. They were once feared to have gone extinct, but it's not uncommon to spot them growing in the wild or placed on a tombstone that I just took it off of. <laughs> Central Square. Yeah, I wonder. Ugh, it sucks how we. What if they were rebuilding? You know? Alright, we have a compendium. I forgot about that. How do we do that? Album. Damn it. I wanted to do the compendium. Traveler's Claymore. Traveler's Spear. Cool. Pot lid. Alright. We got a shield. We're ready for battle. Acorn. Cool. Finding all the goods once again. Once again. Let us do this real quick. I guess while we're here. Why not? All right, let's go in. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. So excited. All right, combat training. Oh. <sighs> it's like a test of strength. Wow, nostalgia. Except these guys seem so much harder for some reason. Oh, the shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. Okay, I forgot how to do that shit. Okay, it works. Target enemy. Strafe. Jump. Hey, man. Hey, dude. I know how to do the backflip. Come on, come on, give me quick, quick slash. Yeah, flurry rush. That's what I meant. That's what I meant to do. Flurry rush. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. I just did all that. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing, my dude. Come on. That was a side hop. My bad. Yeah, let's go. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Woo! Break the space-time continuum. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back in the opening you've created. Cool. Ready shield, parry. Yeah, okay. Oh. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Come on. Ow, okay, that was an opening. time to yeah I'm doing that I'm pressing a there we go <laughs> it took a bit build up your power then release it to unleash a charge attack catch your enemies with this motion to damage them. I've been doing that it's called a flurry rush my guy Press and hold, release. Oh, actually, wait, no, I might be wrong. Oh, it's this thing. And I missed. Wow, 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 wow. 
Okay. Well. I hit! Oh, ayo, ayo. Ayo, 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 ayo. There we go, got it. Give me the food. Not the food, the weapon. Give me the weapon. Your mastery of these techniques has earned you access. Proceed within. Do I have to fight anything again? Kinda don't wanna. <laughs> you know, just, just not, not in the mood. And I have very little space. I guess I'll drop that on me. Thanks. The pot lid is badly damaged. I am aware. Where are the bows? Bows and arrows. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. Getting good at this. And I got some goods. Give me some goods. If it's another weapon. Damn it. <laughs> okay, let's see. What do I not need? A stick. I don't need a stick. I like how it now has that option. Or if it's like, you can't carry any more weapons. And then it just makes you pick instead of having to like... Like... Exit out, go to your menu, drop the item, then go back to the chest and do it again. That's great. I love that a lot. You know, it's kind of weird hearing like the we offer this light to cleanse you of evil. It's like, it's kind of weird. Phrasing, in my opinion. I don't know why. I don't know why it's weird to me. Give me the orb. Give me. Now I have power. So if I, like, get enough power, my arm will just go back to normal. Is that how this works? Yay! That's worse. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Is that how it's gonna work? Yeah. I wanna know. But also I don't, because I don't wanna get spoiled. So don't tell me. <laughs> tell me, but don't tell me. Make a campfire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or simply set some wood ablaze. Or a forest. Oh, it's raining. Cool. All right, got the goods. Let's proceed. Oh, there's another one right there. Focus. We're doing this first. Can barely see a thing. It's because it's raining. Ah, oh, memories and- Oh! Oh, uh, shooting star. I want to go do that. That is a bit dangerous. To, to go here when I'm ill prepared but honestly that's what some other am I going the right way though yeah it's inside the map do I have to move this like, what do I do? wrong thing <laughs> yep all right I guess I just opening all right Crazy. Huh? Who's there? It's just me. Don't worry. Me. Hero of Hyrule. About to say Hero of Time. Wrong one. <laughs> Oops. Hey, what's up, my dude? Going in. To- Oh. Where do you think you're going? I think. No. Can't be him. I can't allow anyone past here. What do you mean? You are not permitted in there. What? Oh. Sarah is restricted only to those involved with the search for Princess Zelda. W wouldn't that also just automatically include me? This is by direct order of Captain Hawes. If you insist on passing, you'll need permission from the captain. Well, it's the captain in there. He should be at the first gatehouse, up at the end of this road. Okay, so... So I gotta keep going up the fucking road, alright, that's fine. Oh yeah, the castle's up in the sky. The castle in the sky. You Captain Oz? Huh. We've turned up nothing in here that would help us find the princess, unfortunately. Huh? You're the spitting image of Link! 
but it's but it's but it's me. <laughs> I am Link. But if Captain Haas saw you, he'd be so startled he might even fall off the gatehouse over there. Uh, gatehouse over here. Oh, oh, scared me. This just is reminding me so much of when you go into Hyrule Castle, Breath of the Wild, and there's all this goopity goop. It's just too busy, I guess. Oh. Did you come up here to help look for Princess Zelda too? Yeah, me and a few others had the same idea. We all owe a great deal to the princess. We were hoping to help mm. anyway. But the captain is way up on the top of the gatehouse there. It doesn't look like it. he's coming down anytime soon. We just showed up without being asked, so, um... Best to stay out of the way until we can help somehow. Alright, so I go up. So I go up. I get up! Ugh. 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 Memories of being in the gatehouse. When you get trapped in with a lion. Oh, I hate it. Ooh, a torch! Oh my god, I need one of those. Pro tip, always have a torch on hand. Always. Always have a torch. I find it extremely useful to have a torch. Okay, top of the gatehouse. How to. Can you tell me how to get to the top? Just like I thought, the weapons here have all decayed too. I wonder if there are any intact weapons left anywhere in the world. What about the weapons? Hey, it's a new face. During the upheaval, all the weapons, swords, and all the weapons, swords, spears, claymores, you name it, suddenly decayed. I've been, I've explored many regions in search of weapons that still, that might still be intact. Jesus. I found none. At this point, I'd be surprised if there were any intact weapons left in Hyrule. They're also a real pain to repair, so the best thing to do is strengthen them. Okay. Cool. But how to get to top of gatehouse, that's the most important thing off my mind right now, is top of gatehouse. Please let me climb up the thing. Oh, shrooms. Hylian shroom, Hylian shroom, a common mushroom found near trees near around Hylian and store half a heart. Cool. Got so many shrooms, it's nuts. Ever once have I tasted the deliciousness that is PCP. <laughs> Sign. Hyrule Restoration Materials. Use this material's cash for all your building needs. Come find us if you'd like a dream home. Hudson can- Oh, God. Oh, I missed them. Oop, my bad. Hey, up, hey. There was probably an easier way to get them, but I chose the stubborn way. Are you captain? You're captain, yes. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Huh? Hmm? Link, is that you? You're alive! Another one piece, it looks like. Well, does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? Well, what a relief! Huh? Still dripping wet. Hang on. You're alone? But you heard the princess calling out to you and you're here to help with the search? I see. Uh, maybe I don't. I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. Wait. I'm relieved to see you come up here to help us out, though. We needed some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but we've been a bit dead in the water. Yeah. Captain! It's Princess Zelda! What? Where? 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 Queen? <gasps> Princess! Mm -hmm. Princess Zelda! She's safe! No, oh, Princess... No, Princess, please. What are you doing? What? What the fuck? What the... Oh my... Ascend! Wait. What? What the fuck? You saw that too, Link. <laughs> I'm not going crazy. You saw Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off, right? Yeah, just like all the spirits. How strange. This this is an emergency situation. Mm. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pura know about this as soon as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I think it makes sense for us to withdraw, but it will take a bit. Please, it, you must tell Pura about what happened here as soon as possible. Everyone, let's withdraw. Uh... I want my paraglider. I want my paraglider. I miss my paraglider. I want my paraglider real bad. 
Jesus, this is quite the run. Uh, how long did that take me to get across from <laughs> from point A to point B? If only I had more stamina or a teleport pad, that'd be great. Lovely. It's like wonderful para. I got some news. You ain't gonna like it. And it's suddenly sunny. I oh uh, yeah, that that usually does happen when you're in a NPC location like this. All right, listen, babe. What the fuck? Why did I call him that? I have news. Good and bad, I guess. Link. Well, did you find anything? Yes. What? You're telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle? And then she transformed into light and flew off? I've got to say, your stories are always so wild. But if you're telling me that that's what you saw, then I've got to believe it. Hmm. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval. For now, at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up clues about where she flew off to as we look around. Oh yeah, you still got the Pura pad, right? Can I see it for a second? Hmm? It's a little worse for wear, but it seems to be functioning fine. Map, map, map. Ah! Ah. Oh, right. I forgot that bef I forgot that before we can look at your overall map of Hyrule, we need to add map data from right around Lookout Landing. And for that, we need our Skyview Tower. Joshua, what's the status of the Skyview Tower right now? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Oh, it's right there. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. Oh, that's new. That's what our Skyview Towers look like. Oh, they've just decked it out. Alright, nice. Oh, but the travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. Hmm. The travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like I better get cracking. Mm -hmm. Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick, so just hang tight. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You must be pretty tired. The emergency shelter is just, just a spot for you. It has free beds and a kitchen, so it's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. If you want more info, Talk to the soldier who's watching over everything from the center, right where the emergency shelter entrance is. If you need clothing for your travels, mm -hmm. you should go to Mub's shop. <laughs> I'll be over by our Skyview Tower, so when you're ready to head out, just let me know. Yeah. Alright, Joshua, let's work on our final preparations for the tower. I'll handle the travel point. Joshua, you're in charge of the switch. Okay, Doc, you can count on me. Well, all right then. Let's just take a look. You know, why not? Oh, it's a Hylian tunic. Hylian tunic. <gasps> a horse! Hopefully we get to tame horses in this game. We better. Let's go see what's up. Pura, I've done everything, which is just run around in circles for a second. If I put this here, and that goes there... No, no, that's not quite it. Uh -huh. That should do it. Ah. Hey, Link, you're all, you all set? I just wrapped up here myself. The travel point is working fine now, or it will be once you do your part. Hey. Telescope. We're ready, Joshua! Pull the switch! Hey! Cool. Is this how all of them are gonna work? Or... I don't know, man. Oh, spotlights. Alright, I guess we're going with that, too. Oh, this is really interesting. Oh, God! Is this really? Oh! Oh, so it's all of them have spotlights. Alright, interesting choice. 
interesting. Very interesting. They sent out a signal flare, I guess. Oh! All the Skyview Towers have now been activated! Wow. Nice. Yeah. Okay, Link, your turn! Oh, I gotta do. Okay. Go hold the perm pad over that terminal. Alright. Yeah. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> Alright, cool. We got it. We got it. Yeah. It's open. All right, the Skyview Tower is now active on your map. That means you can use this travel point to get here anytime, instantly. The same is true for every Skyview Tower you add to your Pura Pad. Impressive, right? Ah. Yeah, very impressive. But Skyview Towers are about more than just traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area, or more simply put, to make a map. The power pad works with the Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly on the map. Uh -huh. Pretty great, huh? Hmm. Only thing is, you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill, and nobody here has what it takes. If only there was someone that had a paraglider previously. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested this out yet. We needed you. Which brings us to this. <laughs> Finally! Oh my god! Finally, we got a paraglider! Mm -hmm. Right? It's showtime! It's showtime! Let's start with a test scan. Now it is time for our very first test launch. I mean, our first test. Just step over there onto the circle and find me afterward, right? I'll be observing from the research lab. Yeah. So I'm gonna get shot into the sky like a cannon. Okay. When the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. And I'll also need to update your map with the places where the upheaval has wrecked the most havoc. Best of luck! Am I really gonna get shot out of this like a- oh god. Oh! I'm sorry. Oh, um, 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 this is very concer concerning. I, what? I feel like I'm still gonna get shot out like a cannon. Yep. There's the cannon. There we go. Cannon time. And... What do I do? <laughs> what do I? This is cool, but what do I do? I'm scared. Oh, that's awesome. Much more efficient. Now what? Uh, okay, fine. Check. Well, we're still in the motherfucking. Well, we're still falling. Okay, cool. Surface map updated. We're falling. I feel like we. I feel like we should be focused on not dying. Sky map updated. Okay. Oh, the thing's dropped. All right. Okay. Welp, this is okay. I was about to say, Welp, this is awkward. Wee! I'm free! Free bug! Free burn! Or something like that. Yup. Oh, what if I chance? <laughs> Swag. <laughs> they, just see, they just see Link do a nose dive <laughs> straight towards the ground, and they're like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> they're like, "It's gonna die!" And then just whips out the paraglider at the last second. They're like, <gasps> "Just give him all a heart attack." Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. <laughs> what do you do a swan dive? <laughs> I expected nothing less. 
So how did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Mm-hmm. Good. That map is crucial to our search. If there are Skyview Towers in every region of the world, you'll want to make a point of visiting them all. Of course we are. Right, let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena do, 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 have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. Well, it's not going to show up on the map considering that, like, you know, oh, okay. The first, the first report comes from Hebra to the northwest. Oh. Next up is Elden to the northeast. The Garuda are reporting trouble in the southwest. Finally, there's Lanayru to the east. Oh, so it's the divine beasts all over again. The strange phenomena are co concentrated in these four yes. regions. I can't say for certain, but I've got the nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Um, hey, Doc, I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over in Heba recently. How long was I out? For Zelda to be hopping around for people to spread word that she's in, like, different parts of the map that are just 80 miles apart. Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in hearsay. Rumors are stupid, but this does sound like it's worth looking into. Mm-hmm. Oh, before I forget, Link, we've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search for Princess Zelda. What the fuck is that? A news article? There's nobody who knows more about the goings-on in Hyrule than them. Really? You could find them near the entrance to the Rito Village. If you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help out in some way, too. Ah. I'll be here, directing a variety of investigations into the upheaval's many chasms and new ruins. I'll also be looking into the different villages. Someone, somewhere, might know what's happened to the princess. Yeah! I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomena that are troubling the regions around Hyrule, Link. We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. <sighs> Gotta find the goggles. Oh. Oh, side quest. Sorry, can't talk now. There's something I gotta discuss with goggles right away about our research into the chasms. Let's talk later. But... Uh, Okay. Crisis at Hyrule Castle. Regional phenomena. Crisis. Where Princess Zelda remains in this Crime Princess Zelda. So that's. Um... Oh, oh, I can't. I can't press A and select. Okay. <sighs> I guess we're gonna do that. Can we do it without fast travel? <laughs> I don't wanna. This is gonna suck. Come on, please. I wanna see what they're talking about. Ah, what a fine afternoon. Hey, you, it's true. You've got the Purr pad. Purr and I worked together on the design. But I am the one who put it together, you know. We should have called it the Robbie pad, technically speaking. Yeah. Come on, Goggles. Are you even listening to me? Oh, uh, yes. Sorry, you were saying? I was saying that I want to go investigate the depths. The depths. Look, if you're not going to listen to me, I'll go and jump into the chasm myself. Oh, whoa. Calm down there. No need to be rash. No way, no how. You can't do that. The depths are far, far too vast for you to explore on your own. And we've only barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there too, but who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms. So we got, so we got sky, land, and chasm. Oh god, this map is gonna be huge. Holy shit! No matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to allow a young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown, so foul. If anything were to happen to Pearl's favorite student, it'd be the end for me. The end. Ah! But I need more on that figure. If we have more info on it, God, I'm so slow today, then it should help us better understand the depths. What figure? Huh. Oh, Swordsman. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. Joshua, head up depths research. Huh. Yeah. I was about to say, you look too young, but then we've met Pura. Let me get you up to speed. 
our survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. Oh, what's that? This piece of slate, specifically the image depicted hmm. on it. See that figure standing on two legs with one arm raised up? Well, I have a theory. I think it could be evidence that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. Uh -huh. Mole people! <laughs> That's why I want to go down there, so I can see if there are any more depictions like this one. I want to see for myself! Aww. But Goggles here says it's too dangerous, and he won't let me go. Aww. Joshua, come on now. I'll tell you what, I'll go down there myself and see if I can't find anything about the figure on that slate. I just Aww. switch it easy. And Link will join me! What? We'll stop by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we find what you're looking for, we'll use your Purus Bad camera to take a picture of it for Joshua. A perfect plan. Camera? Yeah, I tried finding the camera. You don't know about the camera? It's one of Purupad's basic features. With the camera, you can capture nearby scenery as an image. One that's stored on your pad there. Sounds like you still have more to learn about the Purra Pad. Well then, I'll teach you how to take pictures. Once we're down there anyway. There'll be lots of monsters in the depths though. Fuck. So I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. <sighs> Let's see, I guess we should enter through the chasm to the south of Lookout Landing. I'll go ahead. Once you're ready and raring to go, come find me there. Ta-ta! What? Fuck. Wait! Hang on! Yep, he's gone. <laughs> Looks like he's gone. I'm sorry you got roped into all this, Swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he wants to help me, he leaps before yeah. he looks. But there, maybe this will help you out. But here, maybe this will help you out at least. Bird Bloom Seed. Oh. oh, and take this too. Nice. Um... The chasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black. But if you attach a bright bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it, it'll light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Okay, you'll want to head straight out of the lookout landing southern gate. You'll find the chasm goggles used just outside. I don't know too much about your ca how your camera works, but I'm counting on you to bring me that picture. Oh, and please look after goggles for me. I guess we're doing this actually first. Time to get sidetracked. Josh's profile has been added. Oh, that's so Thing. Birds. What's this? Dazzle fruit. A fruit charged with powerful light. Break it to unleash death. Huh. Oh. Nah. Not really in the mood for the. <gasps> no! No, traveler, don't do it! You touched that well! What did I do? It'll sap your strength and you'll end up like me, too sluggish to move. Oh sh oh oh oh. Oh, so it's like malice. Okay. Ugh, I hate that. God, we got I thought malice would be I thought we'd be done with malice in the last game, but nope, it's it's just back, but with a different name, I guess. I think also we'll just sometimes not do a shrine. Because that's what I like to do whenever I played Breath of the Wild, was I didn't always complete the shrine when I first interacted with it. I just did it later. I only activated it so I could have that travel point for easy convenience. And I can't even walk through a door. Yeah, so, I don't know. I don't know. It just, it depends. Oh, cool. okay, so we do get to ride horses. What... When I'm tired and I've done too much for the day, my my speech starts to decay and I just get weird shape rotation. Don't tell me. This is another... I swear to Christ. What do you mean shape rotation? What the... Shape rotate. Uh, shape rotate. What the fuck? <laughs> Yep, that's it. Huh. 
Fit it through. Go, 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 yeah. Yeah. That works. <laughs> now what? Oh. There we go. Got it. I did it. Yeah. Is this all I have to do for most of the thing? Oh boy. Lovely. Got it. Apparently not. Nope. Let's turn it this way. Maybe this is the answer. That's the answer. Cool, I got it. So what do I do? Is this like how I get up? Like what do I do? Oh well then what this? What this? What answers? I'll figure it out. I'm not entirely too invested. Okay. how it's supposed to be, right? Ah! What? The, what? <laughs> the hell? Um, it's weird. Maybe like, oh. There we go, I got it. I figured it out. And I got it. Or if I just do it like that. Well, that works. Right, does that count? That count? Can I climb up it? Can I go up a tea? I can go up a tea, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, that counts. This counts. This counts. Get up, get up, get up. Go, go, come on. Up, up, up. Link, Link, Link. Come on, come on. Come on, Link. Stop being a little bitch. Stop being a little bitch right now. Oh, little, little bitch boy. Nope, wrong thing. How do I... What do I do? Do I do it like this? Like what? What do I... Oh! Oh! Wrong thing. All of it's wrong. I'm still not used to these controls. I'm not used to these controls entirely. It's so weird. -da 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 -da. I did it. Cool beans. Just walk through the hologram. Sure. <laughs> this is a lot. Shine of light. Is it a resuscitation of the robbers overcoming trial of a hero? <laughs> you have done well to reach this place. Cleanse me of the evil. I have to deal with this like how many more times? I've 
What's what's six minus hundred and fifty two? Or is it 156? How many more joints do I have? Oh, God. I got so much to deal with, I guess. Jesus. I got the thing. Da -da -da -da. Bye. At some point, I'm just gonna start skipping this cutscene just because, you know, I'm gonna have to do this 150 something times. <laughs> Chasm! Like how we now have the map. Fairies! Huh! Sky Islands and the caves. Oh, so. Do, will the Great Fairy Fountains be in this game? Will we have the Great Fairy Fountains? Will we have the Giant Mommies? Will we have Giant Mommies? Are we? Geronimo! Whoa! Whoa. Oh, it's Coraline. Oh god, it's like Coraline. I don't like this. Oh, there's the ground. I don't like this, my guy. Robbie. Okay, so that's how we get out. All right. Unless we teleport. Ah. Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you. I'm Ponic from the Zonai Survey Team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived, uh. but he rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring enough bright bloom seeds, and now I've run out. So I lost sight of him. Well, I, I have enough. Oh. I thought he was taking a short walk over that glowing area over there. Then he just kept going. And going. And last I saw him, he was heading way out there, off to the west. Do you have any bright bloom seeds with you? I do. Oh. Okay, that's great news. Light from the surface doesn't reach down here, as you might have noticed. You'd be risking your life to wander here without a light source, you know. You can easily get bright bloom seeds from caves, and they'll light up if struck, so they're pretty easy to use, too. We use the seeds all the time on the Zonai survey team. The simplest way is to throw them with your hand. Okay, oh. we'll figure that out. Those of us skilled enough with a bow will attach them to arrows and fire them off into the distance down here. Okay, so I know how to do that. Oh. If you're going to explore the depths, take plenty of those seeds with you. Let's see what the frick is. Fairies! Are they? Deep firefly, a multi-winged insect that lives in the depths. It excretes luminescent elements that can be cooked into an elixir. Okay, so they're like fairies. Cool. What is this? The light root. What are you? Alright, I guess I just know kind of what to do, I guess. Funky. Hopefully that did not do anything bad. Oh, it lights up the area. That's good. I think. I think it lights up the area. It... It creates shrubbery. And it did a thing. Oh, it's also a teleport pad. So many conveniences. That's great. Ah, yeah, the depths. The light root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Okay. Cool. Where do I go? Robbie! 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 All of us are worried. Gonna get a few more. Mmm. Grub. Damn, he set up camp fast. Yeah. Okay. So that did something for me. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, there is 
something. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, that's an enemy camp. Oh, this, this way? No, I'm gonna go talk to the dude again, see if, what he told me again. Which way did he go? Oh. Okay. Glowing area. Went that way. Off to the west. Uh, uh whatever, whatever. Uh, yeah, I know what to do, I know what to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it went off west. That's north. Yep, okay, I had to do quick math. <laughs> Not quick math, quick calculations. I had to do the never eats our watermelon thing. How did everyone else remember their directions? Robbie, you promised you'd teach me how to work the camera. Now you're lying to me and leaving me off to fend for myself when I'm just a wee defenseless child. How old am I in this? Like, it's probably been about a year or so. A couple of months for us to establish a bunch of new buildings and shiz. Well, I'm gonna make a run for it. And I got spotted. Cool. I am... Ow! Puff shroom. Oh god. There! Oh, I... Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Hey, man. Hey. I'm just, I'm just making things up as I go along. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Robbie! I'm not being followed anymore, which is good. But... What the hell? I think I got spotted again. Oh, poop. Come on. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Hey, hey. How the hell did Robbie make it out here? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Run, run, run. Can they get me here? Ha 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 ha! Robbie! Robbie, I don't want to die. Do they thrive on darkness? Am I about to expel a bunch of demons with the power of light? Or am I... Or will that not affect him and, I, and, and I'm really gonna die? What the fuck is that thing? What, what the hell is that thing? Be gone, demon! Spread the power of Jesus! Okay, okay, connected. The light would dispel the darkness bright in the surrounding area. And I've been cured. And... Problem? Problem? Problem. Problem. Problem no more. Where, where am I supposed to go? Robbie. I lost sight of him again. Robbie. There he is. Dang, you are tiny. <laughs> Robbie. What? Look at how bright that thing got. That light down in the dark is downright refreshing. Hmm. In fact, it's so luminous, it's almost like... Like we're on the surface. No, we're not. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. Oh. Hey, it's you! You're finally here! I need to show you what I found. Ah! This statue. It's standing tall on two legs. One arm raised high. It looks an awful like the figure Josh... Joshua showed us on that piece of slate, don't you think? Alright, get that camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. That's right. I forgot you hadn't used the camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed, giving it one of the pad's basic features. Huh. 
Give me that pearl pad for a second, all right? Well, there's the problem. Your camera is locked, and so should I have a compendium. I don't want the compendium. Hang on. If I remember correctly, you press this wall, you pull this, and you tap that, and... Bam, 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 bam! We got the camera! Capture images using the purple pad, then you can save them from the album. Nice. And we got nothing! Yay! Oh. Boom! Now you should be able to look up. Use both the compendium and... I mixed it up. Get the camera and your Hyrule compendium. So, go capture a picture of that statue. This is a good chance to verify that it's working properly, too. Test it out. Experience is the best teacher, after all. Once you've captured the image, come back here. I want to see how it looks. Use your camera! Okay. Wrong thing. Statue with raised arm. Picture. Say cheese! Hey you! How'd that go? Well, it's great. If you've captured an image of that statue with your camera, then hurry up and show me! I'd like to see how it looks. It looks great. Look, the lighting is absolutely superb. So? Did you get a good picture? I think it's decent. You can probably tell. Look at that. Stupendous! Looks like you captured it well. I'm sure Joshua will be satisfied with this. Lighting up that immense room, getting us a picture of the statue. You've just started helping uh, us research what's down here, but soon enough, we're going to have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time I head back up to the surface. I'll see you at Lookout Landing. Don't make Joshua wait too long for that picture. I said Joshua, not Joshua. My bad. It's just one letter away from Joshua. Don't get mad at me. Alright. To the surface! God, Robbie's voice is destroying me. I feel like I picked the worst one. God. <laughs> I think I screwed myself over. Oh, it's a Rito! What? It's a Pelican! Whoa! Who are you? Well, look at this. You're the one I saw flying around in the sky. It's great to meet the first one to ever be launched from a Skyview Tower. A real historic moment. Hey, what's your name? Link. Link, you say? Hold on there, really? Your name is Link? <laughs> hey, buddy. You've got the same name as that famous swordsman. Ha! <laughs> Good for you. Pretty big name to live up to. Oh my god, this happened last time. Oh. I'm Penn, by the way. I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm writing an article about this event, so folks everywhere will know about the Skyview Towers being activated. I'd better get to work. Our newspaper is short on staff, so I've had to flap all over the place to cover the news. Hey, we could use another reporter. You should join us. Seem like a brave type and all. That's what it takes. Our newspaper is based in Hebra, to the northwest. You'll find it near the bridge that leads to Rito Village. Stop by if you're up for the adventure of a lifetime in the newspaper biz. Until then, soar long! Oh, that's funny. I love it. Well... What a freaking weirdo. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to Joshua. Joshua, I got good news. Success! Oh god, I gotta talk like him again. Hey, you! Show Joshua the picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well, and it looks darn cool too. There you go. Look, it's, it's great. This is it! This does match what's on the fragment. Thank you, swordsman! Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort. Whoever they were, must be showing people, yeah. Which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths! I'm pretty sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. So there's people... We have mole people and we have sky people. Where was this beforehand? This is a big, big, big discovery! Now, what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping with this stage of my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? Oh, I know what it is. I feel as if these contain some kind of strange power. Like maybe it's energy for something. Mm-hmm, you got it right. 
<laughs> Anyways, they might help you in your search for Princess Zelda. So hopefully you find them useful. <laughs> that fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding what it's, its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Goggles! Swordsman! <laughs> Thank you so much for helping for going to investigate the depths for me. Oh, that was a lot. That's a, this is a lot to unpack. We haven't even scratched the surface. <laughs> well, that is all the time that we have for today. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this wacky wild adventure that we're beginning to in the next time where we go travel to one of the four major phenomena areas. I'll have to figure out which one's which, or which one we'll go to first. Most likely it will be the Ritos, considering everyone's talking about that a lot more than the other places. So we'll go there first. But until next time, this is your Tiny Rebellious Leader, signing off.